What is up guys, Alp here and I wanted to bring you another episode of my favourite films where I basically try and showcase some of the films that mean a lot to me and hopefully it will come across to you and mean a lot to you as well. We are firmly in Chris Nolan territory and those of you that know Chris Nolan will know exactly what I mean. We're talking Batman guys, we're talking the middle of the Dark Knight trilogy and we're talking the Dark Knight Obviously, Batman begins to start with The Dark Knight Rises is the third film. The second film, in my opinion, is the best of the three. And it is one of my favourite films of all time. So you've got Christopher Nolan directing it. You've got, obviously, Christian Bale as Batman. And you have been introduced to Heath Ledger, the late Heath Ledger, as the Joker. Um, and... They must have thought when they were putting Heath Ledger, Star of a Knight's Tale and whatnot, into the role of the Joker that a lot of people would have thought. A little bit like we are at the moment with Ben Affleck being played, you know, touted as Batman in the latest Superman vs. Batman film. Why the hell have you chosen Heath Ledger to play the Joker? And the performance that Heath Ledger pulls off, um, God rest his soul, was out of this world he plays the joker better than jack nicholson did in the original batman you know the um, the batman with uh, michael keaton and it is just menacing and the soundtrack in this film the way the tension builds when the joker is on screen especially when he's talking about why and how he got the scars on his face the whole why it's so serious it's just terrifying the way Nolan builds tension is fantastic and he proves that you can make a big blockbuster action movie intelligently. He did it with Inception following the Dark Knight stuff. He did it with Dark Knight Rises. He was the one that introduced kind of an intelligent Batman movie with the Batman Begins. But I genuinely believe that the Dark Knight is the better of the three films. Uh, certain scenes, the scenes in the underground where they're on the underpass with the tumbler and um, the bat bike, uh, oh, he just directs action so well. And the way you, the Joker is kind of slowly introduced into the film is really, really good. And the action just builds and builds and builds reminding me a lot of the recent star trek into darkness where you start off with kind of spock in a volcano and then the action builds on that and it's like how can you build on spock in a volcano and by the end of it you're just like what and this is no different guys the dark knight is a builder it starts off quick with an amazing bank robbery and heist scene and it takes you right through you've got chases in the streets you've got gunplay you've got fist fights and all the while you've got the batman thread running through you've got the joker's own tails running through and the fact that the joker doesn't wear any branded clothes it's all tailor-made there's no markings or anything on him he doesn't appear his fingerprints don't appear in any database it's like where the fuck did this guy come from he's telling three or four different versions of his life and it's like which is real which isn't it is just a fantastic powerful well done performance by heath ledger looking at batman um batman himself played by christian bale obviously christian bale i think is one of the best batman we've seen um i like michael keaton i really did don't get me started on george clooney don't get me started on val kilmer but um in terms of a batman i think chris uh christian bale is one of the best that we have seen but you've also got a fantastic supporting cast in michael kane playing albert the butler you've got um morgan freeman you all know I love Morgan Freeman. Um, basically playing Fox, who is Batman's support. He's almost kind of like the Q of the Batman world, if you know your Bond references. So it is a fantastic movie. It is by far, in my opinion, the better of the three movies. Although the trilogy in itself is one of my favourite trilogies of all time. And I definitely recommend you check out The Dark Knight. You can watch it standalone. You could watch it as part of the trilogy. I think it works well with both ways. You maybe lose a little bit of the backstory. But it isn't going to cripple you watching it as a standalone movie. And it is worth checking out purely and simply for Heath Ledger's Joker. 
who steals the show in every scene he is in, guys. Check it out. It is well worthy of your attention. It is one of my favourite films, and hopefully it will become one of yours too. Please like, sub, comment, take care, and catch you later.